We travel with an immense amount of equipment when we make an IMAX film. Typically, three to 5,000 pounds of equipment, anywhere from 60 to 100 cases. The Iger Mountain is not anywhere near as high as Mount Everest, but it's much more technically difficult, and we wanted to try to portray that in the film as best as we could. One of the techniques that we used was creating what we referred to as a vertical dolly. Every day, we usually had either two or three changes of weather. It could be gloriously sunny right at dawn when we all woke up. By noon, it could be snowing. And by six o'clock in the afternoon, the wind could be howling and you couldn't do a thing. And that was tricky because we had three camera crews working simultaneously, a mountain crew, an aerial crew, and a ground crew. We would go to bed at night with uh, three different production plans, a blue sky plan, a gray sky plan, and a stormy plan. And frequently we would have to change halfway through the day because the blue sky would suddenly close out and we'd be in the middle of a windstorm or something. Well, the days we shot with a helicopter are crazy because you'd be in the hotel, in this nice restaurant, having a cup of coffee and eating an apple strudel. And five minutes later, you're actually hanging in space because you ride in the helicopter for about half the ride. You sit on the door and then you've got your harness to a cable that's about as big as your little finger. And then as you're getting close to where you need to be, the winch operator says, are you ready? And he basically pushes on your cable and you go falling out. Then you're dangling underneath this thing. And it's not just like you're flying along in a helicopter. You're actually flying fairly fast and you're in this crazy, crazy place. We wanted to film John Harlan II's fall after the rope broke. And that ended up adding a lot emotionally to the film. Pretty much anybody who has a healthy respect for high places is gonna get some reaction. And that place, when we looked over that edge and looked straight down, it was probably 2,000 feet of nothing. And uh, that was, yeah, you know, there's a little, uh, a little adrenaline when you get hanging over a big edge like that.